He's a young Jamaican visual artist making his mark with a cultural Jamaican fine art flair. Akil Dunkley had his first exhibit in downtown Atlanta, Georgia, and he joins us now to talk about this successful venture. Good morning, Akil. How are you doing? Good morning. Good morning. I'm doing well, you know. Really grateful. Uh, how about yourself? How are you doing? I am great. Thank you for asking. Um, talk to me a little bit about your journey into art. How did you get started in art? Uh, so I got started when I was a young boy. My dad would take me to his office. He's a graphic designer. So I was exposed to graphic design at a very early age. Mm -hmm. And it was from there that inch that was my interest to start diving into art. Mm -hmm. So, so born and raised in Kingston, Jamaica. Yes. How did the journey then take you overseas? Uh, all thanks to my grandparents. Uh, they got us. They got my immediate family to Florida in 2010. Just turned 17. Mm. Uh, I was going to Wilma's Boys High School at mm -hmm. first. Uh, I, I know big up Ulmas and uh, finished in uh, Florida. And in Florida, I was able to get more into the gallery scene. I was submitting to competitions, getting my artwork into art galleries. And that's when I realized that, oh, you can, you can make money from art. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's what really got me into going to college. Uh, to learn art uh, as well. Wow, so you were already going to galleries um, as a teenager, even before thinking, this is what I, I want to do. Right, e e exactly, yeah. exactly. That's interesting because I, I speak to a lot of young people now, and I find that when at a very early age in their teens or younger, they decide that, oh, this is my passion, this is what I want to do, they do extremely well for right. a long time and very early. And it sounds like this has been your experience as well. Yes, um, I'm fortunate to have very supportive uh, family and friends. So I mentioned that I wanted to do this yeah. from uh, I was around 16. Yeah. And th there has nothing, but there, there has been so much support ever since. Yeah. And that's what really got me here today. It's that support from from and everyone then, to just go for it, you know? Yeah, well, go for it seems to be your mantra, Akil, because <laughs> now you, you have an exhibit on. Tell me tell me a little bit about it, because it's, it's, you're a visual artist, but this is 3D? Yes, uh, so the exhibition uh, wrapped up uh, recently. Uh, it wrapped up, in, uh, um, wrapped up in October. Yes. And yes, so to explain the whole concept of the 3D work, it's more so um, using computer software that has a 3D space in it. So mm -hmm. I'm able to create in 3D, but it's all on a computer. And I'm able to export an image. It's like I take a screenshot or I take a picture yeah. and I export an image. So this software is using real world physics to render light and shadows as how we see it in the real world. So that's how them look like photography as well. Uh, it's all the, the power of the software. And I've been learning this software for over seven years now to get, get it to where it's at. Wow, <laughs> that's all I can say. Um, so tell me, tell me what are some of the things? It's Jamaican themed? Yes, so some of the work I do is Jamaican themed. Uh, Jamaica has such a rich culture yeah. and Moving to America, I kept going back to those memories of, you know, the cool breeze, the busy street corners when jerk man uh, uh, make food, mm. and um, the, the breeze when I'm pinning clothes on the line, <laughs> uh, helping my mom pin clothes on the line. So all those um, vivid memories came back to me mm. while I'm creating art. Uh, now yeah. as an adult yes. and with my studies in college learning classical art uh classical art history mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of classical art history uh, i'm taking different techniques that painters centuries ago used mm -hmm. and i'm fusing that 
and I learned photography in college. So I'm using lighting techniques of like uh, photography yeah. and I'm blending that with my culture as well. Wow. Because I'm looking at the interpretation of it. Um, portrait, right. Uh, right now I'm seeing portrait of a red jerk pan. Yes. <laughs> yes. Talk, talk to me about this. I mean, I see the pan, but, 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 but the landscaping around it says so much. Right. Uh, yes, it's a, a very um, almost barren landscape, yeah. unfamiliar. Yeah. So the, the, the setting behind this one was inspired uh, by aristocratic portrait paintings mm. of royal families. So back then when they didn't have photography, but they needed to capture uh, the family, yeah. they'd hire a painter to capture the family in a very royal manner. Wow. So in this way, I wanted to paint a portrait of Jamaican culture. So this jerk pan, that's why it named uh, um, Portrait of Red Jerk Pan. Yes. It's personifying uh, the jerk pan to showcase Jamaican culture in a high stature. So that's why it looks like it's on a wall. That's why it's framed and look like it's on a wall as if you're in a high-end museum looking at this uh, 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 piece of work. Akil, to, that is so profound. The, pardon me? I said that is so profound. Yeah, thank you. Yes, and to further explain the, the landscape, um, it's this surreal landscape that can have really two meanings. Um, one meaning could be the landscape could refer to me moving to America and it's very unfamiliar. Mm. And it has another meaning of uh, that landscape can be something out of uh, some, someone's imagination. So it's not real. Yes. Y yes. But with so much possibility. Oh my gosh. That's so awesome. Where can, where, where, <laughs> is it still going to be mounted? Where can people see it? I'm excited about right. it. So, uh, yes, so I print on metal mm -hmm. and I also print on paper. So that's how I have it in art galleries. Um, that's how people mm -hmm. can purchase it and have it in their homes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also online. Uh, some of these artwork I can animate and make move as well. Since I'm creating in 3D, I can animate in 3D as well. Wow. So there you have it, a dunkleportfolio.com. Make sure you go check out some more of his work. I know you are in Atlanta, but I said, Cali, Atlanta, you're all, all over, over the, the place. place. It's, it's like my move further and further away from Jamaica. Yeah, but we have follow you everywhere you go, though. <laughs> <laughs> Where, do, have you, do you have another exhibit set up somewhere at another gallery? Uh, uh, thank yet. you for asking that. Um, right now, I do not. I do have a virtual exhibition that's going to be from December 6th to January 6th. So stay tuned on my social media for that one. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be showcasing the work that I had last month, uh, that I had um, from September to October. I'll be showcasing that online for everyone to see. Uh, but, more, but, but also next year, my goal and my dream is to have a show in Jamaica, bringing this artwork to Jamaica in August. That's my, that's my goal, August 2022. I will see you in August. Let's Akil. do it. Jamaica is 60 next year. Exactly, and this, exactly. This, this is a powerful exhibition and it will be done. It's so, you, so awesome much. to meet you. Absolutely. Con congrats, man. Congrats. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah, this has been such a blessing to me and I really appreciate this opportunity and uh, it's very, very heartfelt and it's, it's an amazing early birthday present for me. So this is amazing. All right, Akil. Happy birthday to you. Thank you for speaking with us. Akil thank you. Dunkley, Jamaican. I don't know if I should say visual artist. I'll just say artist because he's so out of the box. Coming up, Neville finds out about ATL.